Yesterday we were trying to fix a ABS light that's on constant on my dashboard. And what I did was flush the brakes, uh, cycle the ABS module, um, flush the brakes again, and then cycle the ABS module again just for, just for giggles. So uh, that didn't fix the problem. I took it out for a test ride and the ABS light's still on. So I started thinking, What's the last thing that I did? So we're, we're, we're moving on to the diagnostic process. I don't think it's the module because the module cycles, it's no problem. So that eliminates a fuse problem, uh, the ABS module working problem. So what we have is the switching problem. There's a wiring issue or a connector issue or something, or, or a sensor issue. So I started thinking back, what's the last thing that I did to the bike? And the last thing I did was I had uh, the back tire change, but I didn't just have the back tire change. I uh, went to get a Metzler 888, it's what I've been running for years. Um, when they put it on, I got going down the road and the back end was just felt really loose. And I got uh, up to speed 70 miles an hour and that thing started kicking and bucking and it's like, this is not good. So I take it back to the guy and he says, yeah, well, we can send it back, but I have to do diagnostics first, more diagnostics, right? So he took a tire off another bike, uh, Dunlop, had about 10,000 miles on it, stuck it on my bike, took it out for a ride, everything was fine. It rode fine, 70 miles an hour, no wobble, nothing. So I go back and say, yep, the Dunlop worked fine, the Metzler, not so good. So he ordered another Metzler. Well, that came in, then I took the bike back, he took the Dunlop off, put a Metzler on it, and we had the same problem. So at this point, I'm like, I don't want Metzlers anymore. Metzler, if you're listening, Fix that problem, two in a row, really bad. That's not good stuff. So I uh, went to the Harley dealer, they had Dunlops in stock, which is, was a problem at the time, it was about, uh, about five or 7,000 miles ago. Uh, I had it done and it just didn't have anything in stock. Uh, since then, I have two uh, Commander 3s in wait. I'm just waiting for this thing to wear out so I can change them out. So I go to Harley and I get a Dunlop and he puts that on. So now I had a, a, a Metzler on it, then a Dunlop on it, then a Metzler on it, then a Dunlop on it. And this is all within about a week, a week and a half. So this is on, off, on, off. And I'm thinking, okay, there's the last thing that was done in my diagnostic process. You go back, what was the last thing done? That was the last thing done. It's about 5,000 miles ago. So I decided to, to test. I'm using the multimeter in resistance mode. Um, wasn't registering anything. I don't know. I don't know what the electronically that means. I know that it's supposed to register something. So when you turn the wheel, numbers should change. It shouldn't just stay at one, which is where it's at if you don't have the connectors touching anything. So um, I know you electronics guys out there probably laughing at me, but I don't really know how this works. All I know is where to put it and uh, turn it. So then I moved it over to the AC setting, um, and and. Uh, I didn't get anything there either. Uh, when I put the bike in first gear on both tests, I put the bike in first gear, let the wheel run. Actually, I just put the bike in first gear and just moved the multimeter around. Actually, I, I did it around the whole dial because I don't know how it works. So I just hit every single setting on it and see if it works, see if something changes, nothing changes. Basically, uh, it's like I plugged it into nothing. After doing that, I decided to hit with some cleaner uh, because I read if they're dirty, uh, it'll work. So I have some electronic cleaner and I hit it with electronic cleaner. I noticed, and I'll show you here, I noticed this little metal band on the back here that, uh, this little metal band here, I don't know if you can see it, right here. Let's see if I can dig it in here. This little guy here, I don't know what this is, but I think, right there, you can see that right there. I think that's part, I think that's part of the sensor. I think we might've found the problem. So I talked to my local, local Harley dealer. They do have one in stock, thank goodness. The next step is I gotta go get some parts and I'm gonna replace that sensor and uh, run this little wire back up through and plug it in. It plugs, it actually connects under here and then uh, plugs into this guy here, so. Um, that's the next step. Hopefully we can get this problem solved because I want to ride this weekend. I really do. So stay tuned.
right, so got the new sensor, and just for uh, you know testing purposes, I went ahead and hooked it up to the multimeter, and uh, the same exact reading. So basically, whatever I was doing with the multimeter was pointless. Uh, it seemed really smart at the time, though. You got to admit that. Um, but yeah, no, it didn't do anything. It made absolutely no difference. Um, I went ahead and got the, uh, I went ahead and got it anyway. I'm not taking it back because two things I know. The back is not working. It's most likely a sensor or connection. The back tire's been on and off several times and there's a little piece of metal that shouldn't be in there that's in there. So at the least, I wanna pull that piece of metal out and I had noticed a little bit of flake down there when I pulled it and I thought like little metal flake and I thought it might be from the metal centered brakes. Uh, but it was most likely from that. I don't know really what it's grinding into. I don't know what that's from. So I hope it's not a bearing, uh, but I don't think it is. Anyway, I'm gonna dig in. got the both exhaust mufflers pulled off now I'm gonna see if I can get this thing through it doesn't seem to be too tight in there yeah oh that slid right out no problem let's pull this baby out is it gonna let me do it no it's not <laughs> oh man I'm gonna have to pull the tire all the way out maybe I can jack it up a little bit Let's see. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. All right, here we go. Now it's pulling the tire up with it. Okay, folks, yeah, this is gonna be a full on. Axle's gotta come all the way out. So let's lower it back down a little bit so the tire doesn't just drop. There we go. So there's even more disassembly. Can't get the axle out because the the bag support's in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. So I'm gonna skip the boring part on the GoPro and uh, I'll just get to the point where I'm pulling out the, the sensor. You ever have one of those days where one problem leads to another problem, to another problem? Well, this is one of those days. I'm not sure that the ABS sensor's bad, but check this out.
This is just supposed to be a brake flush. This is what I found. I saw this kind of knocking around in the back when I was spraying electrical cleaner on my sensor, which is probably at this point not the problem. <sighs> This is a problem. I think that's, I think that's the problem. <laughs> if it's not the problem, it is definitely a problem. So I'm going to call Harley, see if they got the bearings. I almost forgot I had the bearing removal and repair and install kit. Uh, I do have that. Um, put new bearings in. Yeah. It'll be a fun day. <laughs> day two of abs light that's where this started so hmm. <laughs> stick around this should be fun the ABS light because I know we're a long way down the rabbit hole it would be really nice if this actually worked and considering that the bearing that came out is in about 12 to 15 pieces uh, not including bearings that probably was the issue so we got an all new bearings a new ABS sensor the brakes have been flushed so this should do this should do it I am ready to go find out so check you back in a few minutes or for you a few seconds for me maybe an hour maybe. so i don't know if you can tell but it's uh it's a quite a bit later got the back wheel back on i uh, got it torqued down about to put this little guy on just wanted to put a reminder as this goes on the axle cone nut um this is a very important little because uh, this torques on that's only 20 foot pounds so you want to make sure and put this on here so you don't get any uh, little backy dotage because it could come 
loose in the right circumstance. I've got the new ABS sensor. I've got to put the bag mount and the exhaust on the other side. Uh, then I'm going to look and see how many bolts I have left over and whether or not I need to, to go look for other stuff to put back on. But right now we're going to do this. There we go. But it's about 9.30 p.m. I've been working on this since about three o'clock and that includes a few trips to the store. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, everything seems to be made sure all the bolts are tight, tightened down and torqued down. So uh, I'm going to stick the camera in my bag and let's go for a ride. We have a blinking ABS light. Almost out of gas. Back all the way down the driveway. Uh, still blinking. As long as it's blinking, we're good. ABS light. The ABS light is off now. Holy crap. That fixed it. I swear to God I was going to buy a new bike if that didn't work. So, I haven't really tested my brakes much since I uh, tested my brake much since I did the flush but I feel pretty good so not too worried about that I'm trying to enact my ABS Let's see if I can get the rear tire to slide up here okay gonna go oh ah, yep nope ABS is working. So, just in case the audio didn't work when I was out riding, the ABS light is no longer on. Uh, it was the bearing. So, uh, man, there's so many different reasons that that ABS light could come on. You could have somebody says you have grease or dirt in the thing um you know it could be a connection not good uh just a multitude of things including an abs module um which is rather expensive so i'm glad i didn't end up doing that i really have a feeling that that my the sensor that i replaced is probably still good i think it was more the bearing than the sensor so i just have an extra sensor here if this one ever goes out which it'll probably never happen um those units are probably pretty pretty durable and long lasting so you know an extra hundred bucks but you know at the end of the day i didn't want to end up putting it all back together and having that problem again uh so uh all new bearings uh a new sensor brakes are flushed abs uh, module's been cycled through and flushed uh so i've had a, a couple of good days a lot of work being done on the bike yeah she's good i thought it would be a flush video uh, ABS module flush video and it ended up being a whole lot more than that um, but at the end of the day it is what it is I'm Scott this is the Texas Motorcycle Rider Adventures YouTube page thanks a lot for uh, watching and uh, stay safe ride safe deuces peace out take care this kind of started out as a Hopefully flush the brakes and do a little ABS cycle and everything's going to be okay. And uh, it turned into a whole lot more project. So I'm trying, you know, to be a better mechanic and not get frustrated when these little problems come along. But, uh, you know, I'm going to understand a little frustration here and there. There we go. Fell right through. Uh, but if you just take a deep breath. <laughs> Just keep moving. Uh, eventually we'll get through it. And at the end of the day, you might learn something. I know I've learned something today.